Hey guys, it's been a while. As you might have noticed by now, there have been quite a few King of Fighters 14 announcements lately, and some pretty big changes to the official website, including the way the teaser reveals will be handled from now on. For starters, the My vs Banderas video was apparently the final teaser to follow the previous format. Instead, we will be getting team trailers, starting with Team Japan's. Ah, it's nice to see the old SNK logo. It just feels right. The first team shown, Team Japan, is made up of the original members we've gotten to know very well over the years. Kyo Kusanagi, Benimaru, and Goro Daimo. One nice detail about this trailer is that it's showing us the team stage, Nio Esaka, as well as the team's theme music, titled Yapari Esaka. Yapari Esaka translates to I knew this was Esaka. Esaka has been the title of the music theme given to Kyoku Sanagi and his clones in many of the King of Fighter games. Anyways, it's nice that we get to familiarize ourselves with the team's music and stages like this before the game releases. After that brief intro, the trailer shows off each character from the team one by one, giving us a look at some of their signature moves and supers. Both Kyo and Benimaru have been featured prominently in all the trailers and tournaments, but this is the first time that we get a good look at Daimon, so we'll be focusing on him today. His design is pretty much the same it's been since King of Fighters 94, except that he now has writing on both his pants and black belt. The writing on his pants reads Daimon, while the belt reads Daimon Goro on one side and Futof Kutsu on the other. Futof Kutsu translates to inflexible, indomitable, never wavering, never giving up. All fairly fitting descriptions for Goro. When the round starts, the first thing we see is him performing Tenchi Gaeshi, the reverse drop. The crazy new thing about it is its reach. I mean, look at it. He performs it from quite a distance as soon as the round starts. Ouch. It then cuts to Cho Sotogari, Diamond's version of the famous judo throw. Next, a max mode version of Tenchi Gaishi, done at the edge of the screen so that he could grab the falling foe to throw him again. Finally, we see him doing his climax super, Kyo Tendochi, which starts like Tenchi Gaishi, except... Goro finally opens his eyes, and the world just ends. <laughs> Actually, despite it being very obvious and kind of epic in this 3D reincarnation, Goro opened his eyes multiple times in the previous games. As a matter of fact, the move itself is exactly the same it was in King of Fighters 13. And that's pretty much it for this week's trailer. What do you think of the new format? Most of the teams have one character left to reveal, so doing it this way makes sense, as we'll be slowly seeing a single new character on most weeks until they reveal the new boss character, who will apparently also get videos. By the way, although they haven't been introducing videos properly yet, Joe Higashi and Mature now have their sections up on the official website. As you might remember from the Geese video, we did get to see a little bit of Joe before. What team will we see next? Team Yagami or the Fatal Fury team? Or could it be that the order is already laid out on the website? We will know fairly soon. As usual, feel free to sound off in the comments for any details missing or if you have any questions or requests. If you like this analysis, don't forget to check out the previous videos, which are doing just that. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. Well, until next time.